Manchester United getting a comfortable 3 0 victory away at Leicester City. We made a few changes to the lineup. Obviously, Phil Jones wasn't included due to injury. Chris Mullins partnered Eric Bay at the back. Marcus Rojo has gone to left back. And one matter has come back into the team. Yet again, no Martial in this starting lineup. The game was not very good first half at all until Jose Mourinho changed it up a bit just before half time before Mkhitaryan made the breakthrough in this game. He has been a revelation since he's come into the side. Really, really pleased to see him get another goal. Two of Jose Emilio's men hitting the goals just before half-time. Mkhitaryan going clean through. To be honest, Leicester's defence today was absolutely woeful after they went 1-0 down. Second goal come almost immediately after. And for me, that practically killed the game off. Really, really pleased with that. Uh, Leicester were really up against it then and we've even managed to keep a clean sheet today again which is absolutely fantastic. We've got that second goal, the third goal in the second half should I say. Juan Mata getting a goal, he needed that after he's missed a few good chances. He did in the second half miss a great chance when he went clean through. He was actually onside, it was Rashford I think who was offside and should have put it away. But overall really pleased. Daily Blink coming on for Marcus Rojo at half time. I'm hoping that's not an injury. We don't want any more injuries after... Phil Jones got injured, but hopefully the Phil Jones one's not a long, lengthy injury. But overall, you've got to be fairly happy with that, even though it'd be a really horseshit today performance from Leicester City. That was absolutely atrocious from Leicester City. They were all over the place at the back for me. They've made a couple of changes at half-time. It hasn't really changed anything. That last 20, 25 minutes was really boring because it was almost just played out. But to be honest, who gives a shit? We've got the three points. That was all that mattered. With the other two slipping up this weekend... Liverpool and Arsenal both losing. It may, it, we managed to get ground up on them teams, which is absolutely fantastic. That hasn't happened too many times. We, I thought we were going to be in for another draw. That was our biggest away win in absolutely months. So really, really pleased to get the 3-0. I would have definitely taken that before the start of the game. We've seen Marouane Fellaini come on in the second half. I, I was thoroughly expected him to come on. wasn't sure who it was going to be. Pogba was on thin ice. With the yellow card, he's now got eight yellow cards, so we're gonna have to, he's going to have to watch it. He doesn't get suspended for a game. I was wondering if it was him, but one matter got taken off for him. And also, Ashley Young, I don't know why Ashley Young had to come on the pitch. I would have sooner seen Anthony Martial come on in his place, but I just don't know what's happened to, to Martial. He did all right in that second half against Wigan, created two goals, and he hasn't been seen since, which is a bit disappointing. He hasn't come off the bench in either of these two Premier League games since against Hull or Leicester, which was really disappointing. I thought he could have made the difference in that maybe late on in that game it's Hull or maybe he could have come on today with, with them being woeful at the back. Maybe could have helped chip in with a fourth or something. But could have could have had a little run out at the end which was a bit disappointing. He's probably going to get a run out against St Etienne or against Blackburn. But to be honest I'm still not convinced that Jose Mourinho does favour Anthony Martial and potentially I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't sell him on in the summer. Could be disappointing because... He has got the potential to be a really world-class player. Rashford, I thought, did all right, though, today out wide in his place. Again, had a few shots, could have had a goal today, worked really hard for the team. Overall, really pleased. Zlatan getting another goal. Hopefully, he could get golden boot this year, which would be great. And obviously, David Hare with a clean sheet, closing in on Courtois. Clean sheets at the top of the uh, clean sheet table. Probably not going to catch him this season, but he's on to, I think, nine clean sheets now. So, that's not bad from David De Gea. He didn't have a lot to do today, again, like he didn't against Hull. So it's a bit different from last year when he did get his clean sheets. He had to really work hard. So he's probably not going to get in the team of the year this year, but probably hasn't played no worse than he did last year. It's just that he's not having to make the saves that he did last year, which made him look so much better. But overall, really pleased. Mkhitaryan's got to be man in the match again. All right, he had a quiet game in the week, but it was great against Wigan. And it justified why he kept him in the team, because a lot of people were thinking that maybe he should come out for Martial. But really, he has got the team team right today. It's just I would have liked to see Martial come on for Rashford late on. That's the only difference because Mkhitaryan had a great game today and was thoroughly deserved of man of the match. Really starting to, to now get to grips with the Premier League. And that, that's great because next season we probably will see even better of him and we will be a better team for it. One more attacking player, the like in, in the mould of Griezmann, I think Manchester United will have the attack that is needed next season to probably challenge for the title and maybe even win it. The only problem will be is if Slatan can continue this goal scoring that he's done this season, next season. Hopefully, though, Rashford and Martial will be better next season, which will help Manchester United. 
We may even see, as rumours have been reported, two, two centre-forwards or two forward players coming to Manchester United in the summer, which I wouldn't be against because you'd need a lot of options. Manchester United are challenging on all fronts and it was good to see that we could play out that last 20 minutes. We haven't got a game midweek, but we've got a lot of games going to come up thick and fast after this week. So it was good that we could play at a lesser pace that last 20-odd minutes just to hold ourselves just so that we're ready for that running. We don't want to overexert ourselves going into that massive run. But a lot of games to come, so it's good times hopefully ahead. We've closed the gap on Arsenal and Liverpool, which is great news. Anyway, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.